I've seen people firsthand that cannot wait to throw that Bulgarian passport away, to burn it even. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, it has been a while since I talked about the Macedonian question. Actually, it has been over a year. I honestly was busy being a father and I haven't looked into those politics so much, especially with the Kurats virus and the political implications of that here in Europe. Nevertheless, you guys asked me to respond to the Macedonian census that counted only 3,500 Bulgarian in Macedonia. Let's have a look. So, the article reads, the Macedonian census of 2021 has revealed over 29% of the population is ethnic Albanian and half are Macedonian, according to statistics published on Wednesday. Quite interesting detail that they mention ethnic Albanian and they say only Macedonian with no ethnicity attached to it. The state statistical office, SSO, published partial results of the first census census conducted in 20 years in North Macedonia between September 5th to the 30th, 2021. The population of North Macedonia is roughly 2,097,319 people, including residents of the diaspora, of which 54.21% identify themselves as Macedonian, 29.52% as Albanian, 3.98% as Turkish, 2.34% as Roma, just over 3,500 were reported as Bulgarian. Here again, a very interesting detail is that 54% only in that country are identified as Macedonian. That is absolutely massive if you think about it. Only 54% if you look at the expansion of the Albanian population, what will it be in 10 years? What will it be in 20 years. What will happen once the number drops below 50%? This is of course a dire consequence for the nation of Northern Macedonia. The low number of Bulgarians is likely to cause conflict with Sofia, which believes the number to be much higher. Yeah, well, that explanation is very liberal. Sofia doesn't believe the number to be only much higher. Sofia believes the ethnic population of the Slavs within Macedonia to be pure Bulgarian. The only serious public reaction in the ruling coalition in Bulgaria came from the leader of There is Such a People, Slavi Trifonov. He reminded that over 100,000 citizens of North Macedonia had proven their Bulgarian roots in Bulgaria to obtain a Bulgarian passport. <laughs> hey! And in North Macedonia, they are afraid to call themselves Bulgarian. I actually have to disagree with the politician here because honestly, I've met plenty of self proclaimed Macedonians that went over to Bulgaria to get the passport only to get to another foreign country. Germany, France, Switzerland and whatnot to work over there. They do not care about their Bulgarian roots. They simply think, well, my great grandfather was labeled as a Bulgarian. I might as well capitalize on that. I've seen people firsthand that cannot wait to throw that Bulgarian passport away, to burn it even. They have so much hatred for Bulgaria, it is absolutely beyond me why that is. If North Macedonia is the European country it claims to be, would anyone be afraid to say who he really is? Trifonov commented. Yet again, nice try, I applaud your positivity here and your optimism, but as I said already, most Macedonians simply look for the lucrative benefit of the Bulgarian passport, they really do not care about the history. He said that as long as the citizens of North Macedonia cannot freely express themselves themselves and their rights are violated, the country will remain part of the Western Balkans only. The government decided to include separate head counting of residents and diaspora according to ethnicity following the Macedonian opposition's request, 
which insisted that an overall head counting of citizens would result in a higher percentage of Albanians relative to Macedonians. That I do not believe either. Yes, it is true, the Albanian population is rising. And if you look at the trend, Absolutely, they could become the majority very, very soon. But nevertheless, at the moment, I would say that they are definitely not above 30%. The percentage of the Albanian minority in North Macedonia has been an essential factor in the country's politics since the armed conflict that ended in 2002, when Albanians obtained fundamental rights such as the Albanian language and symbols in public institutions. All right. Right, and that is the end of the article. Honestly, guys, what is there to say? Since I found out the truth about the Macedonian question and the history of Macedonia, I honestly got to a point where I was simply over it. I, in my heart, know who I am. I, in my heart, understand the history. I, in my heart, am not a nationalist. Don't get it twisted. I'm not a nationalist, especially not after studying the history of Macedonia and what defined that particular nation. Now, if you want to talk about ethnicity, that is a different topic. But if the people of Macedonia cannot even comprehend their own ethnicity, they will observe their own demise. Mark my words, you don't have to be a prophet for this. It is quite commonsensical. As I already mentioned, the Albanians are simply better at creating a bigger population. This is what has been happening in the city of Tetovo. If you look back roughly 40 years ago or so, the Albanian population was about 10%. Nowadays, it's almost 90%. So clearly you can see where the population will be in the next few decades. It is a very scary number that you have only 54% Macedonians, because once that number drops below 50%, this country will change altogether. Essentially, it will become a second Kosovo. And now I could be sad about it. And now I could complain about it. Guys, you don't understand. When I was growing up as a teenager, like most teenagers from the Balkan, I was very patriotic, of course. I wanted to see a greater Macedonia. But once you realize that this is all politics, all tactics to divide people, you cannot cling on to such an ideology. People are dreaming of some sort of greater Macedonia, not taking into consideration who they truly are, what their history really is. It is understandable that the Bulgarian side, Sofia, is disappointed that only 3,500 people declared themselves as Bulgarians, but that is the reality of things. Those people do not identify as Bulgarians any longer. It has been quite some time through the internet. There is an awakening in a few, but the majority of those people have absolutely no clue and no interest to learn whatsoever. They gobbled up the government's propaganda as kids, and now they're all proud Macedonians. That's it. And it's not due to the people to make that shift in their minds. Those people are simply the regular population, the normies, the peasants, call them what you will. The average consumer, like all around the world. Everybody told you to wear a mask, you did. Everybody told you to get a jab, you did. Everybody told you you're Macedonian, you are a Macedonian. That's about it. The change has to happen in the government of Macedonia, of course. But if it doesn't happen, guess what? You will have an Albanian government, as you already do in certain cities. That is it. All right, guys, and this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. Let me know in the comment section down below what you want me to react to. Because as I said, guys, I'm really not looking into that topic so much any longer. I have no nationalistic political ambitions whatsoever. Let those people that have eyes to see, see. And that is it. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. If you want to further support the channel, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. And as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.